you picked him. Hey, you're not one of those things out there. No, mate. Who the hell are you? Jason Bourne sent me down to get rid of the demons. And I bet he told you it's the creator's will for you to risk your ass instead of him, right? Well, good luck with that. I'd give you a hand, but no thanks. I may look like a corpse, but I'm partial to living. How did you end up trapped down here? First off, I'm not trapped. This was a tactical choice, all right? I'm no match for those things out there. So I found a good defensive position, and I've been defending it, right? Oh, who am I fooling? I'm trapped. He's trapped. Name's Harlan. Pleased to meet you. What happened was, I was escorting folks down to work when those things attacked us. Most of the fight was upstairs, but some folks panicked and made for the basement, and I went after them. Well, turns out there were even more of those bastards down here than upstairs, and things went to shit fast. It does that in this game. Others. So I fell back to this room, set up a nice little kill zone, and a story. Things do go to shit real fast in this game. You don't look like the, you don't look like the other ghouls from Bright's group. Guess the outfit gives that away, huh? I never did buy into that religious mumbo jumbo with the robes and all that shit. It gets lonely out in the wastes, okay? And I don't have to tell you that Bright's group has got some fine-looking ghoulettes in it. Uh, oh yeah, fine. Or maybe I would have to tell you. Anyway, I helped them out, and they kept me supplied with ammo and pleasant company. How have you survived? I'm not delicate. Rad roach meat for protein, condensation off the pipes for water, and I do my business over in the far corner. I wouldn't say it's been comfy. You've got a case of the uncomfies. How can I help you get out of this room? Huh. Well, you're polite. I'll give you that. If this was just between you and me, I'd do as you ask. But it's not. I had a friend with me when those mutant bastards came out of nowhere. She panicked and ran the wrong direction. Further into the basement. Oh, further. She's probably dead. But I ain't leaving until I know for sure. I'd have gone looking myself. Except I wouldn't last a minute out there. You, on the other hand, seem pretty resourceful. Find my friend, and I'll get out of your way. I did find her, unfortunately. I see. Spare me the details. God damn. She had the yellowest smile. You did your part, so I'll do mine. Go ahead and root around up here if you want. I'm going to make a break for topside. I'm not stepping in that. Oh, fuck, he made me jump. Be something fucking good here. Some duct tape and turpentine. Fuck you, game. Oh, there's a stim pack over there. I really want it. Played recently New Vegas, didn't finish the DLCs yet, but yeah. I'm a kind of person that wants to complete missions perfectly and loot everything so I remember a lot of stuff. Nice. Have we just played it the once? Can I shoot these and blow them up? 
fill the tea bag tub up for next week. Oh. That is really well done because it literally fucks you. I'm taking that stim pack. I don't even care. Son of a bitch. Fuck's sake. Thanks for the follow. Obviously wants to watch some quality gameplay. Wants to see how, like expert expert gameplay. Am I right? Don't tell him, Jack. Don't tell him. I'm assuming as Buddy ran down these stairs, it's not rigged. But I'm gonna save. I'm gonna save. Okay. I got excited, I thought that was a first aid box. Yeah, I know, right? Good luck. Good luck indeed. Shipment mistake. First off, let me say that everyone here is really excited about the merger. It's super to be part of a company as exciting as Robco. Have we got, have we got some kinks in the supply chain? Yesterday, a bunch of crates got delivered here containing two gro... gro two... Too gross of devices called Stealth Boys. Is it okay if I ask what these things are? Do they really make you invisible? It sounds wild. What will Robco think of next? Let me know if the shipment came here by mistake. No problem if it didn't. I bet you can have a lot of fun with these things. Workplace misbehavior. <laughs> In light of yesterday's upsetting events, all employees are hereby directed to give a thorough reading of Repcon's sexual harassment and workplace behavior policies. Also, while it is not explicitly stated in the handbook, unauthorized use of military hardware against fellow employees is ground for immediate termination. <laughs> Robco HQ Department. Sanji Rajan, Repcon Custodian. Hi, Robco Supply. We're sending back two crates of the d devices labeled Stealth Boys back to you. According to the manifest, each crate contained one gross 144 of the devices. As a result of employee misbehavior, not mine, one crate was opened and is missing five stealth boys. Sorry about that. Does that mean there's some more? Sneak any sneakers? Okay. Okay. I'm not gonna try and jump down there. I wonder if I could parkour down the crates, but not with one leg. So which door is this the not the the king in the neck the previous one up here I 
I don't know why I wanted a pack of cigarettes, but there we are. In here. Antler says you are the one killing my Ken. Antler says you must die. Oh no. I just need the mysterious stranger. Oh, fuck. I'm never going to kill the king with no fucking health. We can come back. We can go back upstairs and try and get some good, some more supplies and then come back. Right? Or we just say fuck it, dude, and try again. Let's just try. Antler says you are the. Yeah, we know what he fucking says. Suck it. We got another gun. I don't think we do. <laughs> Come on, we just need to have... Come on, we need to have a little... We need to have the mysterious stranger come in and help us save our fucking ass. Fuck. Oh, it hurts so bad. Oh, good. We made him drop his weapon. Yes! Fuck yeah! Little stranger danger. That's right, Chaney. Suck it, Davison, you bitch. Yeah. How'd you like them apples? <sighs> Never fucking doubted it. First try, look. First try. Oh, I'll take his food. First try. Right. Let's get fuck out of here. Let me back in, dickhead. Hey. Is the way clear? Yes. You fuck. Praise the creator and bless you, wanderer. The way is clear. I will lead my flock through the basement to the sacred site. I hope you will come find us there, wanderer. There is much to be done. Hey. Doc. Doc, you look like a doctor. Come back. Come back. Hey. Don't you realize you're all fucking mental? Hey. What? Oh, 
Oh, I want a spacesuit helmet. Stim pack? Yes. If I uncripple my head. Now I'm like you guys. I waited to speak with you one last time before I descended to the launch pad, Wanderer. I want you to know that we will remember for all eternity how you delivered us to the threshold of the Great Journey. You're an idiot. Our preparations are nearly complete, but the rockets that will carry us to salvation are yet missing vital components. Oh, fucking here we go. If you would still help us, Wanderer, speak to Chris. He can tell you what is missing. Here we go. There is no way that we can thank you enough, Wanderer. Your arrival here was a blessing. We will remember you always. Sort your own fucking rockets out. Are you seriously going to make your great journey on those rockets? Yes. The rockets will convey us to our promised land in the far beyond. Vision upon vision has confirmed it. <laughs> I don't see his vision. Those rockets will convey you and your flock straight into the ground. I understand your concerns, friend, and I thank you for voicing them. But the Creator's will for us <laughs> has been made manifest. Let's talk about Chris. After all that you have done for us, I suppose you deserve to know everything. When Chris came to us, we tried to convince him that he was human. But this only angered him. He seemed... lost. We decided to let him stay with us for a few days, over the course of which we learned that his technical skills far surpassed our own. It became clear that the Creator had sent him to us to ensure the success of the Great Journey. Equally clear was that Chris should labor in blessed ignorance of his humanity and his inability to make the journey himself. It is no coincidence that two humans have been vital to the success of the Great Journey. It is my belief that the Creator sent you and Chris to expiate the sins of your kind against mine. You are redeemers both. You're going to leave Chris behind? Such is the Creator's will. Vision upon vision has shown me that were Chris to accompany us, he would die in minutes. The radiation around the launch pad alone would kill Chris in minutes. The radioactivity of the far beyond is much stronger. Well, it's none of my business. <laughs> Chris shall be declared the saint of the great journey before we depart. I hope this will ease his sadness. He's gonna go mad, bud. There is no way that we can thank you enough, Wanderer. Your arrival here was a blessing. We will remember you always. Where the fuck is Chris? Here he is. Hey there. Jason says that I am to cooperate with you on the final tasks necessary to launch the Great Journey. What do you do here? I'm the Flock's resident engineer. I've always been good with machines. Jason says the Great Journey would have been impossible without me. Of course, my skills aren't much use unless I have the right materials. That's where you come in. Do we tell him? So the Great Journey will use those rockets? Obviously. It's Obviously. taken months, but I've nearly got them in working order. Soon they'll take us to the far beyond. Do we tell him? I was skeptical at first, of course, being a man of science. But Jason is certain, and I believe in Jason. Tell him. Why don't they let you work down on the launch pad? When I joined the flock, Jason made it clear that he wanted me to supervise the repairs, not do them myself. It would be a waste of my gifts to work on just one system at a time. From up here, I've been able to supervise the entire project. The radiation down there would kill you, Chris, because you're human. I thought we were past all that, smooth skin. But you just can't resist the chance to mess with me. Typical human. I was human once, you know. Grew up in Vault 34, northeast of here. Nice upbringing Tried. if you like assault rifles and target practice. But oh, you prefer machines that don't shoot people? Not so nice then. Who should maintain the vault's reactor, Hauser, 
Mitchell, no. Make it Haversome. He likes machines. Haversome won't mind getting irradiated. Haversome won't mind mutating. He's already ugly as it is. Haversome won't mind when his hair starts falling out after a few years. There's no connection, Haversome. You're neurotic. How can I help? I was close to completing work on the rockets before Dried. we were driven into hiding on the top floor. Two components were missing. A quantity of isotope 239 igniting agent and a set of thrust control modules. The igniting agent is highly radioactive and decays quickly. That's why we can't use the drums that leak down on the launch pad. It's no longer potent enough. I need you to find an intact, shielded container of the igniting agent. Oh, yeah. As for the thrust control modules, they were custom-built for these rockets. They won't even launch without them. I'll track down the igniting agent. Very well. We don't need a huge amount. Two to three liters should be enough. Um, can you give me any tips for my current task? Repcon has been ransacked so many times by scavengers, it's hard to know where the components might turn up, if they turn up. Jason has mentioned some industrial ruins to the east that are supposed to be highly radioactive. Time for me to go. Later. So he has the isotope stuff on him. So how many did we have to find? Return to the rocket facility and give the fuel to Chris Haversum. Oh, well that was fucking easy. Right, let's see what fucking Christopher hey has got to say. Have you found the components we discussed? Yes. I found an entire container of the igniting agent. Yes, that's the stuff. And the container shielding must be intact or you'd be dead by now. Now all I need is the thrust control modules. I thought you were getting them. Scavengers wouldn't know the value of the modules just by looking at them. If you know any junk dealers in the area, I'd start there. Time Later. to go. Doggo? Where's your buddy? Gibson. Hi there. Hi I'm there. Old Lady Gibson, or so they tell me. I've got odds and ends for sale, and I'm pretty good at fixing things, too. You might have noticed the very large building just north of here. That's Helios 1. The NCR runs the place, so it's off limits to prospectors. Do you have any thrust control modules from Repcon in stock? As it so happens, I do have some thrust modules, but they're expensive. 500 caps worth of expensive. But you're going to cut the price to 250 because I'm just that charming, right? <laughs> yes, you are quite the smooth talker. What the hell? 250 it is. I'll be back in a bit. No worries. I'll hold on to these parts for you. Can I just bought so with it generally. You're back. Now, where did we leave off? Show me what you have for sale. Happy to do it. I just fucking kill her. Be done with it. Oh, I've only got to sell like what can I sell? Never going to use them. Absolutely never going to use them. Pleasure doing business with you. About those thrust control Still modules. Still got them. 250 caps and they're yours. Yeah, Marcel. It's the dogs that I'd be more concerned about killing. 
250 caps it is. Here you go. Pleasure doing business with you. Let's go. Quick as a flash, I'm back, Doc. Have you found the components we discussed? Yes. I found the thrust control modules. Indeed you did. And they seem to be in excellent condition. The rockets are set to go, right? Yes. I'll tell Jason that the great journey can begin. It is almost time for the great journey. I'll tell him in a minute. Bye. We have everything we need to launch the rockets, Jason. Union. The great journey can begin. Gather all. May the Creator guide my words and help me speak true. The Almighty Creator has seen fit to answer our prayers. The time has come for us to board the rockets and begin the great journey. Though it may seem that all humans despise us, the Creator has seen fit to instruct us differently. The journey ahead would have been impossible if not for the intercession of two human friends. One you, the other a long-abiding companion. To our new friend, we say thanks and promise never to forget how he cleared from our path the demons who sought to stay our journey. But to Chris, we owe more than thanks. Chris, you have made this great journey a reality. From this moment forward, you will be remembered as the saint of the great journey. We shall never forget you. I ask that you forgive us, Chris, and give us your blessing. And we bestow ours upon you. Seekers, board the rockets. Take your seats. The great journey awaits. To the promised land we go. What's gonna happen? To the far beyond. Hey, evening. E Did you hear him? My god, you were right all along. I'm no ghoul. They were just using me. They'd take you if they could, Chris, but you'd die. And dying would be worse than this? Used up and thrown away like garbage? They're gonna revere you as a saint, Chris. Oh, so I've redeemed the human race, is that it? What a crock. The human race can't stand me. That's not true, Chris. You're all right. So, you want me to accompany you on your adventures across the wasteland, is that it? There's a little town called Novak down the road. Life among humans again? That's what you're suggesting? I guess... I guess it's the only chance I've got. Maybe it'll be different this time. I was never a saint before. I can't believe I'm agreeing to this, but I'll give it a try. You go launch the rockets. I'm on my way to Novak. Evening. Hey. How? Evening. Oh yeah, just launch some fucking rockets. How? Oh, fuck me. I need to go all the way back over there. Oh, I'm so fucking dead. <laughs> oh, so fucking dead again. Right. This isn't... It's never that straightforward, is it, though? It's never that straightforward. The console displays a wealth of information concerning the predicted trajectory of the rockets. What do you wish to do? Examine the navigation data further, set the rockets to crash into one another, or leave the console alone. Examine the navigation data further. Examining the trajectories of the a little further, it looks like the computer is set to take a non-optimal route to, a, to the specified destination. 
You summarise that with minor alterations, you can plot a course will take them about 12.5% closer to their intended destination. Make the change. You modify the path of the rockets to land closer to their target. Let's go. Enough news of your good works has been passed around that people like you. Fuck, I'm good. Did I level up? Yes, I did. Science! Continue. Here and now. And then I'm going to put... I'm going to make that 75, because I'm pretty sure that's where the next cutoff is. And then I'm going to put the rest into energy weapons. Because as you say, we do use them a lot. Okay. Well, that was fun. Right, let's get out of here. Right, let's head to Novak and make sure Buddy's all settled in nice. There he is, look. Our pal. How you liking it here, bud? Welcome to Novak. It's not very exciting here, but the people are friendly enough. My engineering skills have been coming in handy, too. I've got plenty to do. Thanks for telling me about this place. Is that it? Welcome to Novak. Is that it? Damn it. Don't sneak up on me like that. What do you want? Expecting visitors? Yeah, I guess maybe I am. But not like you. Huh. Maybe it should have been you I was expecting all along. Not this one, the Why other are one. You here? The other one. If you're looking for someone in particular, I could tip you off if I see him. Yeah, well, you see anybody wearing Legion Crimson or a lot of sports equipment, you just let me know. You still haven't answered my question. Just wanted to check out the view. I think you better leave. Uh, do you treat everyone around here like this? Wait. You just got into town. Maybe you shouldn't go. Not just yet. Why's that? I need someone I can trust. You're a stranger. That's a start. What do you want me to do? I want you to find something out for me. I don't know if there's anything to find, but I need someone to try. My wife was taken from our home by Legion slavers one night while I was on watch. They knew when to come and what route to take, and they only took Carla. Someone set it up. I don't know who. You're trying to track down your wife? My wife's dead. I want the son of a bitch who sold her. What do I do if I find this person? Bring him out in front of the nest here while I'm on duty. I work nights. I'll give you my NCR beret to put on. It'll be our signal, so I know you're standing with him. And I'll take care of the rest. I need to do this myself. How do you know your wife is dead? I know, all right. That's all you need to know. I'll see what I can do to help you out. Good. I'll make it worth your while. And one more thing. We shouldn't speak again. Not until it's over. No one in town knows that I know what happened to my wife. Best they never know. Or well, the Legion will be after me next. Goodbye. Yeah. Was it you? You fuck. Yes. You have any luck with the ghouls? I'm counting on you. Did you have anything? <laughs> the ghouls are no longer at Repcon. Really? 
Unbelievable, man. I knew Fine. that wasn't gonna be easy. But I had a good feeling about you. You look like you've been through a lot. Let's talk about something else. Sure thing. Who would want to hurt Boone's wife? Man, everybody. That girl didn't have one friend in this whole town. She didn't want any. She wanted to sit in her room all day and make herself miserable. And she went out of her way to be rude. She upset a lot of people. You wouldn't have liked her either. Did you have anything to do with Boone's wife's disappearance? Believe me, when I heard the news, my first thought was, I owe somebody big. I figured Boone would come around after a while. But he hasn't. I'm starting to think that if he doesn't find her, things will never go back to the way they were. Why are you on bad terms with Boone? Me and his wife, we didn't see eye to eye on some things. We had some pretty big arguments. Mm -hmm. One day, she turns up missing, and he hasn't said a word to me since. Goodbye. Yeah, see ya. Idolized. Renowned for your extensive support and goodwill, you're idolized by the community. Because I'm a fucking hero, that's why. It's been a blast. And don't forget, everybody, it's never goodbye. Just till next time. Peace out, guys. Love you lots.